Just to see her, Smokey Robinson. <laughs> The year 1988 was a big one for Michael Jackson. His album Bad had just been released to critical acclaim, and it quickly climbed the charts to become one of the biggest selling albums of all time. Jackson had already won numerous awards for his music, including eight Grammys, and many expected that he would be the big winner at the 1988 Grammy Awards. However, to Jackson's disappointment, this was not the case. This is the story of how Michael Jackson's album, Bad, won zero Grammy Awards in 1988 and would spark the love-hate relationship between Michael Jackson and the Grammys. But before we begin, welcome to Brian Murphy Official. If you're looking for high-quality mini-documentaries about 80s legends, then this is the channel for you. Whether it's Madonna, Prince, or Michael Jackson, this channel covers the lives of 80s music legends with documentary-style footage. So press the subscribe button and bell notification to never miss a post. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to press the like button to show your support. When the nominations for the 1988 Grammy Awards were announced, Jackson was nominated for five awards, including Album of the Year, Record of the Year, and Best Male Pop Vocal Performance. Many critics and music industry insiders predicted that Jackson would sweep the awards, just as he had done in 1984 with his album, Thriller. However, when the awards were presented, Jackson came away empty-handed. The disappointment that Jackson felt at being snubbed at the 1988 Grammy Awards was palpable. He had worked tirelessly on the album, spending months in the studio, and collaborating with some of the biggest names in the music industry. The album had been a huge success, with hit singles like The Way You Make Me Feel, Man in the Mirror, and Smooth Criminal. Jackson had poured his heart and soul into the album, and he had expected to be rewarded for his hard work. So why did Jackson fail to win any awards at the 1988 Grammys? There are a number of theories. Some have suggested that Jackson's snub was a result of racism within the music industry. At the time, Many in the industry were still grappling with the idea of a black artist achieving such huge commercial success, and some felt threatened by Jackson's dominance in the music world. Others have pointed to the fact that Jackson's album, Bad, was released at the same time as albums by other major artists, including Prince, U2, and Bruce Springsteen. The competition for awards that year was incredibly fierce, and some knaves suggested that Jackson simply got lost in the shuffle. Still. Others have argued that Jackson's snub was a result of his own behavior. Jackson was known for being a demanding and often eccentric artist, and some in the music industry may have found him difficult to work with. Additionally, Jackson's public persona had become increasingly bizarre in the years leading up to the 1988 Grammys, with rumors swirling about his plastic surgery, his pet chimpanzee, and his alleged obsession with children. Regardless of the reasons for his snub, Jackson was deeply disappointed by the outcome of the 1988 Grammys. He had poured his heart and soul into the album Bad, and he had expected to be recognized for his hard work. The snub was a blow to his confidence, and a reminder that even the most talented and successful artists are not immune to disappointment. In the end, Jackson's disappointment at the 1988 Grammys served as a turning point in his career. It forced him to reevaluate his approach to music and to focus on creating music that he loved, rather than music that he thought would win awards. And while he would go on to win more Grammys in the years that followed, he never forgot the disappointment he felt at the 1988 awards, and he used it as motivation to push himself even harder in the years to come. But let us know what you think about this. Are you also angry that Michael Jackson was snubbed at the 1988 Grammy Awards? Write it down in the comment section below. If you are new to this channel, check out our other mini documentaries about the King of Pop and don't forget to press the subscribe button and bell notification as well. And I'll see you in the next video.